Hello, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the GIF. I didn't say GIF, I said GIF. Now, this is one of those kind of annoying internet things. But there's a lot of contention as to how to say this word. The creator of the GIF says that it's the GIF. However, it is a hard G, so I'm gonna roll with GIF. Um, it, Probably doesn't actually matter that much, but what it stands for is the graphics interface format. And this is a file format that is transparent. It doesn't have the best compression. It's not the best for that. Uh, however, its main feature, which you're probably familiar with, is you can create little short audio list videos with a GIF. It is a common thing now to have a reaction GIF or some kind of GIF as a, they're really commonly used for like banner images that have some motion to them or anything like that, video previews, that kind of stuff. Now, if you're thinking about using a GIF for anything other than video, I would maybe shy away from that. If you're gonna be doing something that needs transparency, I would stick with a PNG or ping file. That'll work, it'll look a lot better than a GIF for transparency. If you don't need transparency and just want to have an image, you're probably better off with a JPEG. A JPEG is going to have better compression and it's going to look a lot nicer. However, GIFs have everyone beat on anything that is animated or that moves around at all. So if that is the case, go right ahead. Now, not many people know this, but Photoshop is actually really good at editing GIFs. It's, it's, it does a decent job at compressing it and is what's commonly used for things like web banner ads when they're sold via you know, ad networks or newspapers, those kinds of things. So outside of that, I think that's, that's most of what you need to know about GIFs. The compression on them is a little, there's a couple of details in there that are kind of hard to remember. Um, and there's a lot of GIF conversion tools that you can get now. Like I know my, I mean, my phone just does it for me. I can convert videos to GIFs quite easily. Um, so it's getting a lot easier to deal with them than it was maybe five, 10 years ago. So if you haven't really thought about using GIFs, they can be very, very useful in places where video is not really a thing very much. Um, talking about like in email campaigns, GIFs can be very useful. You can put them into some social posts and some things that don't allow uh, video or where video isn't the best suited. It's really nice for things that you know, you don't want to create a barrier for entry for people downloading it. You can put a GIF in its place and give kind of a, a, a semblance of the video, and maybe they'll click into that for the full version. That's another nice use for it. I hope that helps helps explain GIFs a little bit. Um, if you, if I referenced any other file types or anything like that, I'm going to put them in the content of the article that this is connected to, as well as in the video description. Thanks.